Okay, we have our page. Um, we have our page set up now, most of our squeeze page. We have our domain name. We have our hosting. Uh, what we need now is a um, mailing software, something to manage our autoresponder, something to manage our um, data collection. So um, what we're going to use is a service called Mailchimp. Um, the reason I'm recommending Mailchimp is because they do have a free plan. So while you're getting used to um, while you're getting used to um, setting up, um, you know, getting used to email marketing and autoresponders, it's you know having it for free is a great way to get started, learn the ropes, and then maybe in future move on to something a bit more advanced. Um, so, anyways, this is Mailchimp.com. Just click on the one of the sign up buttons to so sign up free. Um, so then all you have to do is enter your email address. So I'm going to support at media.com. Username support media. And then you just enter your whatever password you want. Create account. Did that work? I don't think it did. I think I did something wrong there. Yep. All right, I'm going to do that again support at media.com support media so tell me if it worked or not ok username is available enter the password you want create an account so that's um, done and then you'll get a confirmation email in your inbox so I've got this here you just click to activate you enter the um, whatever comes up in the anti-spam measures and you confirm and then you log in with the login details you just created and you have to go through a few um, really simple uh, basic setup measures, so security question obviously if you need to get back into your account um, Now let's just go with in what city you have to choose a question, so I'm just going to choose one What was the name of your first stuffed animal? I can't actually remember, but I'm setting up this account for demo purposes, so I'm going to say Homer You've got the email address as default. That is the one which you set up uh, set up the account with, then you just enter your contact details here 24 I'm making up an address, 24 address road, Manchester, England postcode you find the UK, which is what I go for company or organization media, so www you would obviously use your genuine details here, but I'm just doing this to set you up. And I usually would recommend specifying an industry, because um, in the stats that you look at, you can see, um, you can you know you can compare your the, the open rate you've got for your emails, and you know which usually helps uh, sort of track your um, track your performance. Okay, so then we've done that. You create a subscriber list. Um, so I'm just going to call my list name Social Success. Default name is who you want the the um, basically when someone gets the email, the name it says it's from. So I'm going with Company Gupta. Reply to email. I'm going with uh, I'd probably use my own one because I want people to email me directly. Uh, and then you do need to enter a reminder about how someone got onto your list because. Um, because that just reminds them that you haven't just spammed them and got their email address out of nowhere, which which would technically be illegal. So you sign up at www.supportmedia.com. So you probably word it better than that, like you are receiving this email because you opted in at supportmedia.com. Then the address is automatically populated. You uh, company name is automatically populated. 
people um, you can get emails and people subscribe or unsubscribe if you're not going to be able for a while I'd say you can you, you you tick the subscribe button just so that you know when someone's you can kind of track things a bit easier but then after you get to a few hundred subscribers you probably switch that off because you don't want all these emails coming into your inbox telling you when people are subscribed and um, you can choose to let people pick the email format between there's a few different options HTML plain text or mobile um, so uh, basically that's how you set it up you hit save and uh, that will set up your list now if you already have some contacts you can import them easily um, otherwise in the next video we'll be showing you how to create a sign up form and how to go through all of the step by step customization processes for that so that you um, get your autoresponders working properly and everything like that